Hello here, and this is part three in our little get to know you. Um, so last year I found myself not connecting with everybody the way I wanted to, and so um, I really want to change that. I really feel like the clicky, smaller sub-tribe thing that happened last year was something that uh, a lot of people were a little dismayed by. This camp has always been a camp of people that were friends and who knew one another. And it's totally cool that we come with our friends, that we, um, that we have our adventures together, but when we are working together um, to create this theme camp, we are one. And so in an effort to make that more true again, I'd really like for all of us to participate here. Okay, so the question today that I bring to you is, what is your standout moment in terms of holding space out on the playa? Now this moment could be a moment where someone held space for you, or when you held space for someone else. And, you know, when, when I say hold space, I think everybody understands what that means. That would mean being tuned into somebody and gifting your presence. So, um, my story is one that really pivoted um, the person involved and, and segued into what became an incredibly important relationship for me. So um, the story begins with Rob and I deciding we were going to have a hair washing day. We had a wash basin and a jug of water and some shampoo and a lot of fucking conditioner and we were gonna do this thing. And my hair was still really long at the time. So it was kind of a big thing for me because I was just dying. Um, yeah, so Rob and I are like getting it together, we're getting all the things, we're getting ready to go into the dome. And then I came out to the central area for a second and I saw Nick Barone, who was wild-eyed and clearly dismayed and had come back to camp trying to recenter and find some safety because he'd clearly been through some shit out in that dust. And I just kind of went, hey Nick, are you okay? To which he answered, no. And it was pretty hard for him to articulate at the beginning. And I could see that I didn't want to leave him alone. So I went, you know what? We're gonna wash your hair. Rob and I have this date we're about to begin and why don't you just join us? And that made all the difference for him. He knew that he was safe. He knew that people cared. He felt safe enough to actually explore what it was that he was feeling with us. And, and I know that it really changed his day and, and probably his burn. Um, and since then, Nick has been one of my greatest friends and somebody who I love and adore and hope is always in my life. So, um, so yeah, it really, it really was an important moment for me. And I carried away from that one of my, one of my most beloved friends. Okay guys, so that's my story. And um, again, this is a really important exercise in participation and in community and in congealing as a tribe. So please find something to share and I can't wait to hear what it is. I, I really look forward to these answers. and The ones that I've been getting from you all have just been amazing and, and sparked so many great important memories. So I hope this one does too. All right, guys.
I love you so much.